Hello, it's Natasha. Thanks for joining me. I have a creative sequence power yoga flow on the shorter side today. Come into a comfortable seat. If you need some props, blocks, water, towel, if you think you're gonna get sweaty, go ahead and grab those things. I'm not gonna cue anything with blocks. We're moving from pose to pose. Um, not holding things as much, but if you know you like to have blocks nearby, absolutely grab them. Meet me in a comfortable seat on your mat. We are gonna lay down for the warm up, but we'll start in a seated position and you can just bring your feet out, sit up tall. See if you can grab your opposite ankle. This is called turtle shell in Pilates. We're gonna tuck our chin and round into the pose. Relax the muscles in the face. See if you can just breathe into the back body. Just arriving in your space, not really changing the breath. Just noticing how it feels. Softening the forehead, the eyebrows, the jaw and the tongue. Continue to melt over, maybe even bringing your eyes to your knees, if that's comfortable, shutting out light for a moment. Feel the shoulders separate and pull down away from the ears and that roundness in the spine creating space in the vertebrae. Take a moment to just sit in stillness. Try to let go of distractions, of expectations and bring yourself right here, right now. Let's turn our intention to the breath. Inhale through the nose. And exhale, sigh out the mouth. <sighs> Big audible breath. Inhale. And sigh, exhale. <sighs> and then if you have a clear passageway through the nose, we can practice ujjayi breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. You'll be able to hear the sound. It sounds like the ocean or the wind. Tune into that sound throughout the practice when you feel like maybe your, your mind is wandering. Couple more like that. Matching your inhales to your exhales and feeling the body as a balloon expanding in all directions with the breath. Beautiful, go ahead and start to sit up tall, bring your hands behind your hamstrings and we'll move through some cat cow here. Round and lean away from your thighs and then pull your heart through, squeeze shoulder blades back. Good. Take it back into your rounded exhale. And inhale, pull the chest through. Exhale, round, lean away. Challenge that edge a little bit. Feel the core fire. And then pull through, use your biceps and your shoulder blades almost touch behind you. Come into neutral and we'll just stretch the fingers, flexing and pointing out in front of you. It's like you're waving up and down. Good. Make a tight fist, circle, sit up tall, core is active, and then blink out like you're flicking water off your fingertips. Start to go faster and faster, and maybe you float your feet off the mat in this low boat, Navasana. Flick, 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 flick. Can you bring the shins parallel to your mat? Keep flicking. Three, two, and one. Now shake out those hands. Bring your fingertips down and maybe extend the legs. Only if that feels good, we're gonna try to drop and switch right away into those hip flexors, quads, and core. Okay, if it feels hard to keep the legs extended, go ahead and bend those knees. Okay, and set those feet down. Sit up nice and tall and like windshield wipers, we're gonna move the hips and knees side to side. You can brush your palms back behind your body. Try to sit up tall, chest pulling forward, and rotate those knees and hips. A couple more times here. Perfect. Bring those feet out in front of you. Flip the palms over. We'll prep the wrists a little bit more. 
turning them in different directions and starting to feel the hamstrings lengthen as you bend forward. Go ahead and reach out and stack. Rounding the spine, we're rolling down onto our mat with as much control as we can. Three, two, one. Stretch your limbs apart. Point your toes, arch the back, lift your ribs away from your hips. Inhale. And then exhale, give yourself a nice big squeeze. A well deserved hug and little massage. Circling one direction and then the other direction. Beautiful. Bring those feet on the mat nice and close towards each other and towards your hips. We're going to curl the pelvis, feel the quads lengthening, and then the hips lifting. Just a low glute breath, bridge, engaging your glutes and hamstrings, pulling the ribs down, hips up. Then roll down. We're going to tuck our chin and roll C curve, shoulder blades up the mat. Just back and forth a few times. Curl the pelvis, low glute bridge and roll up, C-curve, crunch, <sighs> exhale. Good, inhale and exhale, lift. Roll down the vertebrae, tuck the chin, pull the shoulder blades up the mat, one more like that, roll, curl the pelvis, squeeze the hips up, inner thighs towards one another, roll down and crunch it. Extend those legs, low boat, add a little rock for three, two, squeezing the glutes, keeping that core braced, one, now side to side, good, little rocking boat, nice massage on the sacrum and on the sides of the back, and really active through core, beautiful, all right, we're going to tuck that right knee into the chest, shoulders back and down, and the left leg is extended, flex and point both toes, can we take a half happy baby, grabbing the top of the foot and pulling that knee towards ribs? If you can't reach the foot, grab the ankle. Take a big breath in and out. Good, hug that knee back into chest. Curl the shoulder blades off the mat and then let go. Your active strength here, knee crunching in, other leg extending out and then straighten as much as you can. Pull the limbs apart. Take a big breath here. Now put the left foot down, lift off your spine, arms overhead. Again, that low glute bridge, but now we have a lifted leg, so it's a single leg. Pull your inner thighs towards one another, squeeze your butt. Roll down the vertebrae, good. One more time into that little lift. Then tuck it in, and we're going to twist. Pulling the knee, right knee to the left. See if you can bring your big toe down and try to drop your shoulder down, turn the gaze to the right. Just breathe into this twist. Let your hip pull into a stacked position and breathe into the belly, into the ribs, into the back. That 360 breath. If you feel restricted through the breathing, you might be going too deep in your pose. Maybe back off just a touch and then try to connect to the breath. From this twist, we're going to turn all the way to the right. I'm going to turn away from you, and we're going to climb up to a seated position. So keeping this passe, turn your body to the right. Use your top arm to pick you up for the tricep. Let's try that three times. Top arm is pushing you up. You're going to feel the tricep and the shoulder. Here's two, and here's one. Now, top arm our bottom arm climbs up. So top arm presses you up. Now this time, take that bottom arm and sit yourself. You have your right foot in your inner thigh and you're lifted nice and tall, seated now. Left hand to right thigh, side stretch. Good, follow the breath. See if you can deepen the shape by listening to your body. Taking stargazer, right hand diagonal out from right hip, and then press onto the shin and the knee as you open up through the hip, quad, the chest, the shoulders. Pressing into those right fingers, push your hips forward, and have a seat, pull your toes forward. 
We're gonna keep that right knee bent. Now we're sitting towards the front of our mat. Forward fold, you can bring your right shoulder inside of the right knee and hug that knee into the shoulder as you reach for the left foot. Take a couple breaths here. Perfect, moving on. Widen your foot a little bit away towards the edge of the mat and your left hand outside the hip, elevate the hips. Let's go three, elevate the hips, crunch into the abdominals, push the, push the shoulder down. Here's one, we're gonna thread this left foot back by pulling your shoulders forward, hips back, swing. 90, 90 lunge, left hand down, right arm up, right knee hugs into the midline, big circle sweeps, three, two, one, drop that ear to shoulder. This time as you circle sweep, both arms reach forward, lift off the back knee, crescent lunge. Did we get there? You'll have another chance to do it on the other side. Lift the heart, good. Come high on the back toe, and then bend a little deeper into that front knee. We're gonna bind the hands behind the back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, pop the chest forward, gentle back bend. Ooh, feel the wiggles and wobbles. Exhale, drop onto the back knee and fold. Your shoulder and your knee can meet, your head can fall forward. Lift back up, off the knee. This time we're gonna try to forward fold off the knee, inhale, chest up, exhale, same shape, but off the knee, high heel and back. Your foot's probably wiggling all over the place. Engage the core, squeeze shoulder blades towards one another. Breathe, you can drop the head or keep it focused on the mat. Then look forward, step forward, folding chair, bend your knees, drop your chin over your knees. One more breath here and I'll let you get, let go of that bind. Here we go. Release the bind, straighten the knees a bit, and give yourself a pat on the back. Almost like you're in a halfway fold. Knees can be soft if needed. Core is on, now drop into Uttanasana forward bend. Shake out the head. Connect to the breath. Find some space in the hamstrings. See if you can engage the quads. Pull the kneecaps up, and maybe that gives you a little more space in the back of your legs. Head is heavy. Let gravity take over. Then soften your knees and we'll rag doll up to Tadasana, mountain pose. All right, throw my hair up. Get situated with your, either your feet to touch or hip width apart, shoulders back and down, lengthen the tailbone, engage core, lift the crown of the head, spread those toes, anchor into all four corners of the feet. Let's breathe, inhale, we rise. Option to do a gentle back bend here. Engage the quads and the glutes. Chest up, halfway over, forward fold. Take a breath here. Now, Utkatasana chair. We're gonna come onto our tippy toes. And lower into toe stand. Stretching the arches of the feet, pull the palms in. Can we widen our knees to a diamond? Maybe your heels start to turn inward to touch. It's okay to be wobbling. It's okay to fall out of poses. We're gonna lower back down where we started. So carefully bring your fingers down. As you pull your shoulders forward, you might be able to soften your ankles enough to sit, but if that doesn't work for you, use your hands to get back. We'll come into a boat pose again, and we'll do those little leg drops. Engage the core. Two more. Bring those fingertips down, slowly lower the legs. Forward fold. And lift and roll back with control. Three, two, now hold low boat. Both legs up, we're gonna do those little rocks. Four, three, two, one, side to side. Rock your boat. Four, three, two, one, and lower down, give yourself a big squeeze, and a little massage, circling right, circling left. Beautiful. Take your left knee in, right leg long. Roll the shoulders back and down, chin away from chest. Take a breath here. 
Then tuck your chin, nose to knee. See if you can hold this shape and let go. Pulling your knee in and your right toes long. Squeeze into the belly, stretch. Grab the top of your foot or your ankle. Drop into your half happy baby. Knee in towards rib cage or armpit and stretch the right toes away, your heels down, your hips stretching long. One more breath here. Beautiful. Pull the knee into the chest and lift and then we're going to straighten the legs and pull in opposition. Squeeze that belly button towards the mat. Pull the legs apart, stepping on the right foot, nice and close in. Peel off into your glute bridge, one leg, inner thighs active, hips lifting up, chest high as you squeeze the glutes under, and roll down the vertebrae. Tuck into your L. One more breath here, pull the limbs apart, and we're gonna go into our twist. Go ahead and take that knee and twist it over, left knee to the right. Left shoulder down, fingers down. See if you can, maybe the toes tap the mat or the floor. And we'll just settle into this breathing. Enjoying that deep spinal twist. Trying to connect to the breath. So you could also create a shelf for your knee if that feels deep. Or just let the leg hang with gravity. Fill up the back and side. Here we do that sit spin. This time I'll be facing you. We're gonna spin from right to the left, keeping your foot in passe. Your top arm is gonna press up using the triceps and the shoulder. Let's go three more times. Squeeze and lift. Lower with control. Squeeze and lift. Lower with control. Squeeze, stay. Now this top or this bottom arm replaces and we work our way up to seated. We have our left foot on our inner thigh. You're gonna sit up nice and tall. Right arm wraps around, left arm reaches over, side bending. So I'm not mirroring you, just listen to those rights and lefts or do what works for you. Couple breaths, you might be able to tap your toe but it's still early so don't focus on that. Just focus on stacking and leaning into the side stretch. One more breath here, cartwheeling the hand behind the hip diagonal and lifting your hips, pressing onto the left knee and shin. You can always adjust if you want to be, uh, to have your knee padded on the mat. Pull your hips forward, your chest up. You might swing it back or just keep it into a side body like modified plank. One more breath here. Come back through seated, spin your way home. You're gonna lift the knee up. Stepping on the left foot now. Bring your left shoulder inside the knee and reach out for those, whatever's there, maybe your shin, your ankle, or your toes, or your foot. Hug the left knee actively into the shoulder and just work down into that fold. Lift the shoulders over the hips. Now widen your foot, maybe to the edge of your mat. Your right hand comes outside the hip and will lift and lower that whole heel and hip off the mat. Three, two, on the last one, stay up. Pull the shoulders forward, it's a swinging action. Shoulders forward, knee tucks in, hips lift and land. We are in a 90-90. Left knee hugs in, right hand lowers, twist. Stacking your shoulders, taking that gaze up if that works for you. Now, big circles in the shoulder. Three, two, one. Pull the arms apart. This time when you circle back, both arms extend forward. Pull both arms forward and lift off the back knee. Crescent lunge, high lunge. You might wiggle your feet a tiny bit apart if needed. Lift the chest, high heel, and then bend a little deeper. Bind the hands behind the back. Squeeze your shoulder blades and maybe your palms to touch. Puff the chest, inhale. As you fold, lower onto the back knee. 
and forward fold. Try to get those arms maybe over the shoulders or forward. Hug the left knee to the midline, pull the belly in. Lift back up off the knee, high lunge, keeping the bind. And this time fold off the back knee. Fold in, bound, lunge, arms squeezing over the head. You can connect your shoulder or your belly to your thigh or even fall inside the leg. Start to gaze forward, step forward, folding chair. Belly on thighs, arms still up, head can fall heavy. Work on bending the hips behind the knees, pulling the arms over, and then we'll release that. Oof. Straighten out the knees a little bit and allow your arms room to swing. Lateral and cross. Give yourself a pat on the back. Good. Release into a fold. Drape over. You can bend the knees if needed. Shake the head. Yes and no. And you can also stretch into the wrists a bit. Maybe step on your hands for that gorilla pose. You can use your feet to massage into towards your wrists and into the palm. You can start to pull a little deeper into your forward fold if that's there for you. And release those hands out. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, ragdoll yourself up, stacking the vertebrae, maybe a little shimmy on the way. Shoulders over, hips, we rise. You can do a little shake out, come out of any rigid positioning, just kind of move, bounce, anything that feels good for you at the top here before we come back into stillness. Finding your Tadasana. Roll the shoulders back and down, palms forward, surrender. Spread your toes, anchor, lift through the crown, ribs away from hips, legs flow. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, halfway over. Utkatasana chair. Get lower onto, into toe stand. Take your time, pull the heels up, pull the palms to the heart center. Widen your knees, bring your heels to touch. Use your outer thigh and hips to rotate. Squeeze the belly. Maybe lift your fingertips over your head. Then fold over. You could even wrap this fold up. Finding your outer hips, lowering your head towards the earth. Coming into seated. Make your way onto your bum, even if you need to use your hands to get there. If not, just sit and find your boat pose. Adding on, so we worked that really tight compression. Let's try one crow boat here. Try to round the spine and pull the knees into the armpits, separate shoulder blades. We're gonna take plow and roll forward into a crow prep. You don't have to do crow pose, but you could. And don't think about the, the plow behind the head as needing to touch your feet over the head. Think of it as a core exercise, reverse curl and freeze. So we'll reverse curl. Now hold the hips up, space between chin and chest. Use your abdominals to hold the position. If it does feel good to tap over, you can, but we're focusing on the core here. Now we're gonna try to pull the shoulders over the hips, bring the hands down, hips up, crow press, widen the feet and lean shift. So feel free to stay here where you're just pulling the shoulders way over the fingertips, spreading your fingers, gripping the earth, using your toes here to press everything up, pulling your core up and away. Then we're going to try to jump back. So either from the toes down, simply jump, or you can do that from crow pose, shooting the feet back, crow, jump back, and just find plank today, right for now. Our first plank, take a breath here. Rolling the hips through, sweep, up dog. Oof, you can bring your knees down and bend your elbows. Uh, we're taking that modified back bend here. Roll down, baby cobra, lift and lower. Waking up the back and start to open the front body. Haven't really been here yet. Now, toes tucked. Up dog on toes, 
zip back to plank. Press into down dog. Make any adjustments you need. Paddle out your down dog, high and low heels. Breathe. We're gonna take very baby spinal weights in down dog. Don't lower into plank, try it from down dog. Just cat, cow. In down dog, meaning you are gonna keep your hips up there and you're gonna use the core to curl the spine and then the tailbone rises, round and tuck. Lift. So try to get fluid with these baby spinal weights and then we'll start to make it bigger and you can add the knees into it. Roll forward, bend back. Roll forward, hit plank. Spinal wave back. Rounding forward, unfurl to plank. Bend the knees, lift the tailbone one more. Round forward. Bend back. Walk your feet a little closer together. Sweep those right toes up. Good. Flex point, circle. Maybe open the hip and close like a flag waving. Open, close, open, close. Now close the hip. We're going to tuck in nice and tight. Push the mat forward. Round, round, round. And step in between the thumbs. Prop up to fingertips. Maybe widen your stance for warrior two. Open up that right knee, pull the arms in opposition, lengthen the tailbone, root into all four corners of the feet. Breath here. Inhale and exhale a little bit deeper. Have side angle modified, right forearm to right quad. Left arm makes that diagonal, reaching for the ear. If you do have more space, fingertips to the mat. From Side angle, skandasana. Try not to move too much. We're just sweeping across and sitting into that left heel. You can flex the right toes. Any variation, if your ankles and hips don't like this, maybe you're more in a toe stand or you're lifted into a half squat shape. Right back to warrior two. Swing the arms, cartwheel forward. Connect to the breath. This time your side angle is active. Both arms stretch over the head, bend into that front knee and hold it there. Take a breath. Moving into side bend goddess. So you're gonna have to kind of pull that heel in, rotate that knee out. So from in, turn it out. We're in this side bended goddess like a tree. We're gonna move and sway side to side. Nice. Now pull your fingers towards the top of your mat and skandasana again, bend the back he, uh, knee, flex the front toes. This is a skandasana pulling in opposite opposition from the bent knee. Good. And you can straighten and bend little pulses. And we're moving into a lizard lunge. We're going to try to pull the right shoulder under the knee. I know you can't see very well, but I'm going to rotate my right shoulder under and lift my back heel. So now I'm in this low lizard lunge, trying to at least hook my elbow under my leg, okay? Options, lower the back knee. Maybe you can wiggle these toes off and either bend the knee, so a completely modified flying slit where you're on the back knee and you bend the front knee. Maybe you lift off the back knee. Maybe you straighten both legs. Hugging your elbow is in like chaturanga. Yeah. And then sweep that leg back, fine child's pose. Big breath in and out. That was flow two. We're gonna repeat that. Take some time to connect to the breath. Maybe stretch out those wrists. Since we were in some deep hip flexion, before we get back into the flow, let's take a little camel. Lift onto the knees, inhale, arms up. Cactus, back bend, open that front body, push the hips forward, squeeze the glutes. Ooh, maybe elbows to ribs. And back to seated. Meet me in downward facing dog. Spread your fingers, tuck your toes, press your hips up. Baby waves. In, down, dog, round and arch. Keeping your tailbone up, not moving through the plank on these first 
sets. I want you to feel the core engage. It's almost like reverse crunches. Now make it bigger. Round into plank. Swoosh back to down back. Roll forward fingertips. Roll back. You can bend knees and elbows and get really wild with it. Nice. Let's roll through vinyasa. Plank chaturanga. Upward facing. Downward facing. Walk the feet a little closer to the midline. Slip the left toes up to sky. Down dog split. Hip open, hip close. Open, swing it like a tree in the wind. Open and close. Now, closed hip. Pulling the knee into a nice tight tuck. High on the right toes. Push the mat forward, round the spine. Look forward, step in between the thumbs. Set up on your fingertips. Maybe widen your, your feet a little bit apart. Cartwheel back, warrior two. Pull that left knee to the left, ground into all ten toes and all four corners. Bend, inhale, exhale. Modify, or yeah, modified side angle. Left arm onto left quad. Right arm creates a diagonal from fingers to toes. Bend if there's more space to give. Fingers to the earth or palm. Third side angle, eight stand up now. Trying to keep your limbs where they are. Just bend the back knee, flex the left toes. Any variation. Connect to the breath. Back to warrior two. Sweep those arms back and cartwheel forward. Pull the arms apart. Active side angle. Both arms reach and stretch. Quite a difficult hold. See if you can just fight through. A lot of strength, uh, strength in the quad, in the hamstring. All right, so we're going to take the toe in and rotate the knee and the toes away. And try it twice. Warrior two. Going to hop and pull the knees wide, tuck the pelvis. Now, swaying in the wind. Side bend in goddess. Side bend. Side bend. Last one, pull the arms towards the front toes. Start to bend the back knee, flex the left toes, and you can bounce this. You can drop the head heavy in between the arms. Skandasana pulls. Hold. Turning your knee forward, lift the back heel, and wiggle your elbow under your front knee as it bends. Little crouching lizard here. You have options. You can drop the back knee. We can try to pick up this foot. It doesn't have to look pretty. It could be here. Maybe you swing it back and you drop into chaturanga. You could lift the back knee or you could try to split. So keeping the back toes grounded. Step back to knees, chest, chin or plank, uh, chaturanga. Up the child's pose. Woo. Connect to the breath, breathe into the back. Might be a good place for a sip of water as well. Take a deep breath in, stretch those arms forward. We're gonna jump outside the pinkies for Malasana. Tuck your toes, gather up those knees, bounce the hips, big explosion, hips up, straddle or just pull those feet to the outside of the mat. Malasana, elbows, cry knees apart, thumbs to sternum, lengthen. And then any kind of movement you wanna take, you can twist, High heel, low heel, sway, and eventually making it down to a seat for boat. We're going back to that plow. This time, we're gonna try to go either into a baby crow on the forearms or a dolphin. I'll show you both variations. Using the core, freeze. Can you use the core and pull the hips up? No stress on the neck. Now, Coming, bringing your feet wide, your elbows and forearms land down. You're gonna hop the hips up, jump the feet back into either dolphin, which is just down dog, 
on the forearms, or you could do both with me. We're gonna roll, try to pull those feet wide, elbows down, knees into the armpits, push the shoulders down, baby crow. Two, dolphin. Walk the feet back or jump them back. Lift the hips up. Whoo, and straighten. Here's your other option. You could try some little pinch of hops, hop switches, anything you want to practice on the forearms. Maybe just drilling out forearm uh, dolphin to forearm plank, or if pinch is in your practice and you want to play with shapes, go for it. We're doing a lot of swaying in the wind. Maybe you try to pull those hips side to side. Pretty hard in pincha. You could do this in headstand, but always be mindful of that cervical spine. I don't love headstands personally, but if you have a really strong base, there's not a lot of weight in your head. Drop into your child's pose to recover. Remember, you can always hit pause if you need more time. I'm trying to keep this class a little bit shorter today. If you want to repeat any of those sections, we had the warm up section where we lifted from, from twist to seated to stargazer, or the second slow section where we went to warrior two. I'm gonna move on to our last sequence. Tuck your toes, listen up. Downward facing dog. You're gonna to need to listen to the cues here. Right toes up to sky. We're gonna pull the knee in and tap the mat. Tap your nose, scoop. Then your right foot steps exactly halfway between your hands and your foot and the left, you jump off the right, left toes to sky. You might get a second, you might not. Now the right foot lands, left foot steps back. You're back to starting down dog split, right toes up, okay? Try that three times. We have tuck, tap, mat. Tap nose, step down, hop off the right toes, the right foot lands, left foot steps back. You're back to starting down dog split, right toes up. We have tuck, tap, mat. Tap nose, step down, hop off the right toes, land, okay. Last one, right leg up, knee in, to the mat, to the nose, step hands down. This time, we're going to go into standing split. Right foot down, don't put the left foot back, reach back for the right ankle, kick the toes up. Standing split, head heavy, toes to sky. It doesn't matter what the split looks like, we're just activating the glutes, the hamstrings, and energetically pulling those toes upward. Walking your hand away from your body, right fingers reach forward. Now hamstring curl. Can you grab the top of the foot? It could be inside or outside grip, doesn't really matter. You can be, bring the right knee to a bend. You could prop up onto a block here. We're gonna try to kick into some variation of sugar cane. And again, it doesn't have to be a perfect split. Listen to your body. Big breath in, we're almost done. Now, big step back to twisting lunge. Reach back, you might, your foot might land off the mat. Step way back, right arm up, twisting lunge. We're gonna hook our twisting lunge. Left elbow across, palms to heart center, draw the belly in, high heel and back. Okay, a little balancing flow here. My thumbs are at sternum, I'm trying to stack. Gaze forward, step forward, chair. Keep the connection, lift the right knee, lift the right knee. Try to pull your shoulders over your hips, keeping your thumbs to sternum. Maybe that bottom leg straightens out, maybe the top knee straightens. And then back the way you went in, land, step back. Whew. You got it. We're back inside, twisting lunge. Left hand down. Open into any variation of side plank, stacking or a star. I know we're a little bit off the mat, but we're gonna end in pigeon here. Pulling that right knee in towards right wrist, plant the hand, plant the leg. Find me in pigeon, connect to the breath. Any pigeon shapes you wanna make,
maybe mermaid. Your foot goes into the crease of the elbow, top arm reaches for that arm and behind. I'm a little flustered by that B, if you can't tell. <sighs> Sleeping pigeon, you can come down to the forearms and connect to the breath here. Forearm plank, root into the elbows, tuck your left toes under, maybe hop it back onto your mat and step into forearm plank. Root lock on core, tug the pelvis, firm the quads, the belly, shoulders down. Now swing, sphinx. I'm gonna take bow pose. Waking up the back, energetic back, stretching the front body. Swing your elbows out, hamstring curl. See if you can reach for the outside top of the feet. Hug heels in, tap, chin to mat. One more breath, then lift. Connect to the breath, reach those toes up. Let your shoulders and chest expand. Connect, breathe, fight. Lower down when you're ready. Bring your elbows back down, wash your feet side to side. We're pressing back up through forearm plank. Scoop up through the core, push the shoulders down. Back to your dolphin. And maybe some dolphin hops. Four shapes. This time from dolphin, can we catch chaturanga? Pull your shoulders way forward, head in front of fingers. Lift off your elbows, chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Here we go with the last sequence. Left toes up, split. Listen up. Left knee in, knee to the mat. Scoop knee to nose. Step the foot halfway in between. Watch your left toes jump off them. Now right foot lunges back, left foot kicks up where you started. A couple more. Tuck, tap mat, tap nose. Step, hop off. So we're jumping off the bottom left foot. Step right, step, kick left. We're not swinging the other foot. You wanna jump off the supporting foot so you don't get too much momentum where you fling over. Tuck, knee to mat, knee to nose. Step, jump off those toes. Other leg just tries to reach the sky. One more time. Knee in, to mat, to nose, zip, step. This one, standing split, so maybe you get a moment. It's okay if you don't. Left toes down, stay. Right toes in, up to sky. Grab your left ankle and kick up, squeeze. Keep breathing. Find that standing split. Reach, 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 reach. All effort. Now, bend the front knee, step back. Big lunge, twist. Left arm up, stack shoulders. When you have a moment to ground into the feet and toes, stack your twist, hook your elbow over, pull your belly in and rotate. You can turn the gaze up, connect to the breath. I know it's hard on twists. Gaze down. We're gonna step forward. Try to keep the connection with your tricep to your outer thigh. Step it in. Raise your left heel, then try to stand. Maybe we straighten out. Maybe you straighten pretty hard. Ah. The way we went in, we come out. Left foot down, right foot back. Moving through side plank, right hand down, lift, push the shoulder down, spread your fingers like you are externally rotating the fingers. Any variation of side plank. And ending in pigeon, left hand swings forward. Bring the knee with you, knee towards left wrist. Whew, find your pigeon. I am sweaty, I am scared. Relax, breathe. Any pigeon shapes you wanna make here? Maybe that mermaid hooking the back foot into your elbow crease. Top hand reaches for fingers, right fingers.
If you have King Pigeon with that reverse flip grip, I haven't done that in a while, but I do have a class on how to flip your grip or resting down into Sleeping Pigeon, connecting to the breath here, working on that external rotation on the left hip that's happening when you're folded. When you're lifted, you should feel the back leg, the uh, hip flexor, the quad. Set yourself up for your forearm plank last time. You can even crawl forward so you're back on your mat. Hop the toes in, slide and stack. Good, nice big breath here. Fire everything up. Right away, we're going to drop the hips and fly locust. And then one more bow. Kick up. Stack your palms, drop your forehead, wash your feet side to side. And press into plank. Energetic, squeeze the belly, push the shoulders. Load, jump forward. You can jump wide or narrow. Outside your fingers if you can not land your butt down with your feet together. Jump up, bring your feet down, sit down. Find your boat pose. We can end here and lower on the back or if you want one more coming up into baby crow, crow, handstand, anything you want to make. Dolphin, use the core, freeze at the top, squeeze the core. Any variation, it could even be just jumping back through plank. Or take an arm balance. You can jump back, go through a half series flow. This is your yogi's choice time. One more time, jumping forward. This time, rolling onto our back. And closing the class. So you are very active, very warm. I'm gonna leave you here to decide whether that means you want to continue with some kind of vigorous practice or if you just wanna take some time for some twists, for some stretches, releasing your body and making sure that you give your body and your mind that downtime in Shavasana, even if it's only a minute or two, take that time to rest, repair and recover, so important. I know we're always on the go. We wanna work hard. We don't feel good resting, but resting is so important. It's self-care. It's re-energizing yourself for all the work ahead. So take that time. And today I'm going to leave you here. And thank you for joining me. Please comment. Let me know how class went. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with a yogi friend. And Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. The light in me honors the light in you. I appreciate you being here and supporting me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hop off the right toes. Land set back left. Oh, oh my God. What? There is a, oh, a giant a hornet. Should I leave this in the video so you can see how freaked out I am? Uh, okay, it's over there. I'm gonna ignore that. Okay, you're still going, right? Down dog split. We oh God, where did he go? Oh shit. Okay. All right. Okay. Last one, right leg up, knee in, 